Hi, I'm Kevin, and it's time for a cookery slot. Again, sorry about the hair, it's getting a bit long, but has anyone ever watched Let's Wait a While by Janet Jackson? Because that's what I've modelled my hair on. Anyway, so I'm really hungry, as usual, um, and I thought I'd make some guacamole, which is like really easy, really simple. So you just take an avocado and all you do is um, literally just cut it in half around there. But what you can do is put it on a surface not a kettle but um, it's just for the height and just half it like that so you're not um, putting your hands at risk so halve it and then get a spoon and just scoop it out or you can quarter it and then it just comes out really easy it's up to you which you do and then the bowl put your avocado I've got some uh, lemon juice I use that just because it's cheap and it's easy um, I don't think there's anything wrong with using that over uh, fresh lemon, but use whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I've got some garlic powder just because it's really convenient. Um, I do sometimes use like, sometimes use fresh, sometimes I use, it just depends what I feel like because both are really nice. And then um, salt and pepper. So you just want a pinch of salt and pepper and maybe about, I used about, just over a dessert, about a dessert spoon and a half of lemon juice and then like a pinch of the garlic and literally, oh and a touch of Tabasco as well but literally a couple of drops that's all and then just mix it up and I mashed it up with a fork and that's my guacamole so that's fresh because you can buy it as well but it just doesn't taste the same and all I've done is I've mashed it up I've put it on some toast and then you can put some tomato on that and then some shredded spinach and it's really really nice so share subscribe and enjoy